All right, so we have made it to Ecola State Park. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> We're getting a really nice view of Haystack Rock near Cannon Beach and I'm using a telephoto lens right now because the rock is pretty far out in the distance. You can see all these layers of sea stacks. You can see the mountains in the background. We've got some really beautiful clouds moving over and actually some pretty dark clouds moving over. So I don't think we're gonna get a sunset tonight. So we decided, okay, let's get all of our shooting done, kind of, you know, not sunset, but kind of like a early evening light, still really soft and beautiful because of all the clouds. And I'm setting up a time-lapse with the Nikon D850. So I'm doing a one second interval here because all this motion here, like the waves and the clouds, they're moving very quickly. So if I was to do a two second interval or a three second interval, all of this stuff is going to just be moving way too rapid. It's gonna be a little bit more choppy. So I wanna smooth out that motion, but still see the beautiful flow of the clouds and the waves. All right, so you'll notice I have two filters here. So I got a polarizer on here. I'm just cutting out a little bit of the reflected light to give the picture a little bit more richness in the colors and the contrast. And then I've got a six stop filter to knock down my shutter speed. So I'm doing a slight long exposure here. I think I'm like 0.5 of a second for this shot. Michael, what are you doing? Just cleaning some sand off of some of my gear. So I took everything out of my bag. Should I do, do you want me to do what's in my bag? Yes. Right now I'm wiping my filters, polarizer, circular polarizer. And then I've got an ND6, six stop filter. Nikon 50 millimeter 1.8, which I've been using a lot lately because it's really, really fun. And it's just like a super lightweight lens I can bring around. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put that right there. And then I've got my dust blower. And then I've got my Nikon D850, which is my main camera and my 14 to 24 lens, which is going to go back in my bag like so telephoto 70 to 200 f4 which is amazing i'm gonna put this back in my bag this is a lens uh filter for the lens that that we're using to film this that's the 16 to 35 nikon 16 to 35. uh card pouch which has all sorts of cards i think i've got like two terabytes worth of storage in here just in case I don't want to offload cards and I need to shoot a bunch of time lapse. And then I've got my drone and I've got a little holder for it. So here's the drone right in here, some batteries and things. And zip that up, put that right here. This is a Zeiss lens wipe. I've been using these to clean off the lenses. They're amazing. Uh, other things you don't see in this top pouch are some adapters. Uh, extra batteries, extra of those wipes, and then also a headlamp for when it gets dark. And then I've got my beanie because my hair is crazy. And then I got, oh no, dried apricots. <laughs> All good? All good. All right, so the time lapse is done. I think it turned out really nice. You got some good shots? Yeah, it was really beautiful light. Yeah, so it was really nice. And then uh, now it's pretty dark, getting a lot darker. No more light on the rocks. So we are gonna cruise out, see if we can find anything else.
after a beautiful evening around Cannon Beach, we started having to make our way down south back towards San Francisco. But we did stop in a few places on the way. We found these beautiful rock formations off the coast with these trees on top and just tons of birds swarming around and it was really amazing. So we decided to stick around for sunset and see what we could get. So here's a shot of the rock formations with that tree on the top. I just love the light piercing through the middle of the frame, creating this nice glow around the tree with all the birds. The water motion was a little bit choppy. There wasn't much interest in the water. So I decided to do a long exposure for the water and then do a very short exposure for the top of the frame with the birds, the light, and the clouds. And then I blended those two photographs in Photoshop. Although we didn't get a crazy burn in the sky after sunset, I was really happy that the light kind of pierced through these clouds for even just a minute to give this really nice glow to this photograph. This was taken with the Nikon D850 and the 16 to 35 lens, and I'm actually at about 35 millimeters for this photograph. All right, so here's one more photograph from the shoot. This is taken a little bit after sunset and the clouds were a little choppy looking. They didn't have very nice formations to them after sunset. So I decided it might be fun to try a longer exposure to really simplify all of those shapes. So I went with a two minute exposure here, just, just one exposure. I didn't need to do any blending or anything like that. When I go on these shoots, sometimes I like to shoot these shorter exposures and then longer exposures just to see what the differences are. What does simplifying the cloud motion and the water motion do for the scene? So I thought this was kind of a, a fun test. So of course, this is the same rock formation from the previous image, but I'm actually standing quite a bit further to the right on this one. So on our way back down south, we did decide to cut east and explore a few more waterfalls. I wanted a little bit of personal time, so I decided not to vlog any of those shoots. But what I did do is a little bit of video footage at one of my favorite waterfalls, Togati Falls. Thank you so much for watching this Oregon vlog series. I will be releasing a ton of new vlogs in the future and I'll actually be heading back up to the Pacific Northwest very shortly. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.